Hello, everybody. This is, uh, well, uh, obviously a summertime fragrance video. Um, yesterday was the first day of summer, July, June 21st, summer solstice. I just want to, uh, talk about my most anticipated summertime fragrances. So this is just going to be like, I have this huge collection of summer fragrances. I've tested them here and there, but I never really got to like wear them, like full out wear them on a summer day. I just want to share um, my collection and, and like how excited I am and what I am expecting from them or like where I think I would wear them. The one exception to this is uh, my Victor and Rolf Salty Flower. Uh, this is the one exception uh, in that I have worn this before. I, I have had this for at least a couple of years. So I do know how this performs in summer. And it's rare, it's discontinued, it's hard to find, you know, people are selling it for like really super expensive prices. Oh, it's so good. Um, but I just happened to get my hands on a couple of bottles before it was discontinued and before those prices skyrocketed. If you can get your hands on it, even just a small sample, it's really worth it because it's just this like great combination. It does, okay, it does smell a little sunscreeny and I usually don't like the sunscreen smell, but it's just a small, it's like 5% sunscreen. And it's not like a tropical beach. It's not super fruity. It's very floral and it does have that like salt in there, but it reminds me of like a beach resort commercial. The, the big fresh white linen curtains blowing in the breeze of like the fancy uh, hotel room and like you look out through the windows and there's like this big old balcony with an ocean view. It just smells very luxurious, very fresh, very clean, clean but salty. <laughs> um, it smells about as clean as you could smell at the beach. Now if you want more reviews that are like specifically beach and ocean fragrances, I do have a video from like a year ago or something where I was just doing beach and ocean smells, so things that are meant to be aquatic and salty. Um, but I have to mention this every time. It's just delicious. It's one of my favorites. And I would definitely save this for like a fancy vacation, a fancy like resort, a fan not that I can do these things because I don't have money to go to fancy resorts, but this is definitely like a fancy luxury travel, vacation, resort, pool, spa, private, you know, like romantic. This is definitely like if I want to smell high end. This is my high end summertime fragrance. So after that, I'm going to mention Dolce Gabbana Shine. It is the same nose behind this perfume and salty flower. I forget her name. I'll post it, picture somewhere. Um, this might be the closest dupe you could get to salty flower. However, this one is sweeter and fruitier. The opening is, is sweeter, fruitier, and more feminine and more juicy. But I think the dry down is almost identical. So if if you're if you're seeing things about salty flower, but you just can't find it or you just can't justify the price point, I think Dolce Gabbana Shine is a good second choice. As I said, a little fruitier, a little juicier, probably a little more syrupy, like a little bit more cloying. So this might not feel as high end, but this is definitely like a sunshiny day. But I feel like because this is heavier, you might want to wear this on like a dry sunny day rather than like a humid sunny day. Salty flower, I feel like you could pull off on a humid sweaty day. This you might want to wear on like a drier day, but both still delicious and I'm so excited uh, to wear this one. <laughs> All right, since we're talking about sunshine, I want to mention Sun de Joya, not Light de Joya, not Air de Joya, not Aqua de Joya, although I do have Aqua de Joya to mention afterwards. Um, not Terra di Gioia. This is Sun di Gioia. This was hard to find. I mean, my husband got it for me for Christmas and he said he was able to order it off of like 
Walmart or, or something. And I was like, I thought this was discontinued because like Sephora doesn't have this. And he was like, well, I don't know. Uh, according to Walmart, it's not discontinued. So he was able to get me uh, a bottle for Christmas. And this is when I was starting to steer away from the salty summertime fragrances and starting to um explore more of like the ambers and stuff and it's weird because this does not necessarily smell like salty flower but this kind of smells like dolce gabbana shine it it's they they kind of like bleed into one another it's like i'm making a gradient and this is um pretty uh, you know sunshiny it it does kind of smell like sunshine in a bottle but it's cozier this is like this is like a cozy summer sunset this is like um you know your your skin has been sun soaked and like you took your shower but you're going back out on like the balcony or out in a hammock for like one last drink uh maybe a cocktail maybe tea whatever um you know this this is more like cozy evening soft sunset smell like this is this is what i would spray after a shower but i know i'm still going back outside for like a hot summer evening that's what it smells like to me so all of these perfumes that i've taken out so far are are similar they're in a similar vein and um I guess while we're on the topic of ambers, I have to pull out an alien sun essence. This is Or de Amber. And this one is almost like a mixture of the previous two. Um, this really does not smell a lot like alien to me. A lot of people are like, ooh, this, this smells like alien. It has the alien DNA. To me, this is like 10% alien or like it does its own thing, but it like gives a nod to alien as it develops. You know, this has a very fruity, very fruity kiwi top note, but it's almost a little bit like soapy or like vegetal, like, you know, green. Like it reminds me of like a gin and tonic with lime or even something like even even like a little bit of like an asparagus note, you know, like a like a bitter, like like gin and tonic, you know, limey, fruity, but still bitter. And I would almost I would almost say that this has an opening, like a fruity, punchy opening, similar to Dolce Gabbana Shine. And the dry down of this is like a really cozy amber, similar to Sun Di Gioia. So this first batch of perfume bottles they're all very similar they're all um beachy white floral uh cozy amber you know they're, they're all very similar this one i picture myself wearing similar to sunday joya uh maybe afternoon like late afternoon turning into evening it reminds me of cocktails cocktails and summertime i guess i smell the jasmine but it's you know like if you blindfolded me i would not think that this is alien but it is alien it's a flanker it's an alien flanker yeah i mean i'm excited about this one because it's just so like rare and i'm a sucker for anything that's like rare and discontinued so um again that's like an evening time fragrance for me or like cozy lazy summer day fragrance okay well i'm on the topic of terry moogler i might as well bust out my two other moogler fragrances Womanity and Womanity Flanker Au Pour Elle. Um, so regular Womanity, most people have smelled it at least once. This is one of the more polarizing fragrances. A lot of people say this is better on like a fall day, on a windy day. Um, salty, woody, it's just, I really do love this, but uh, it, it, I think it works for summer. I, I agree it works for fall, but I do also think it works for summer. I think it works for like a breezy day and probably also cloudy, not too hot, like a cooler, drier, cloudy summer day. But outside, I, I do feel like this is a good outdoor fragrance because it is so green, it is so woody. Um, you know, I imagine like, wearing this at like a picnic in the park or something. Flanker Eau Pour Elle, uh, however, I think is definite summertime. It is super salty. They ramped up the salt on this and they added a strawberry note to make it a little sweeter, a little more juicy. It just reminds me of like 
the ocean. Like, it is so salty, and I get that, like, pinchy feeling in my nose of, like, I grew up next to the beach and, like, a really aggressive ocean. Like, we had riptides and stuff. Um, so it was very common to get pulled under the water, especially if you had like a boogie board or something. And then when you finally surface, you have all this salt water up your nose. For some reason, this reminds me of being underwater, like submerged. So this is like a dark, stormy, like summer and lightning with red wine or sangria, like a red fruity alcoholic drink. Uh, and it's storming, you know, dark, cloudy moody and we get lightning storms here all the time like where i live we will get a lot of lightning but no rain so it is actually like really cool and really like romantic to be outside seeing the sky like light up purple um and and you're not getting rained on it's still just like a warm like fun evening this is something that i would wear for like a moodier dramatic unpredictable occasion yeah, like, uh, like trapped in the beach house during a hurricane or something like that. All right, so the last one that I have an actual scenario in mind is Aqua Di Gioia. The first time I smelled this, this actually transported me. This doesn't smell like the beach, but it smells like a beach town, like a coastal Mediterranean feeling. It smells like you're on a balcony and the hot air like came in through the streets and was heated by the sun and heated by the hot pavement and like white buildings emitting heat around you and it passes through like the gardens and the flower markets and it just like the air just like comes up to meet you. This is hot, sweet, salty but floral air like rising. This is supposedly inspired by like the island of Pantelleria or something like that and when I like googled images like google images of Pantelleria it looked like what I was imagining like kind of like Santorini like like the white buildings the really really blue water and just like you know like this this is similar to my Victor Rolf salty flower in that like I wear this when I want to feel fancy, when I want to feel like high end, like I'm traveling, like I'm on vacation, like I'm in a magical like coastal city in the Mediterranean, Meter Mediterranean, in the Mediterranean. Um, yeah, this is, this is really cool. And it's not, it's not as expensive as, as some of my other like weird discontinued stuff, but like as far as bang for the buck, this is probably like the best in terms of like what I'm getting for the price. Like I'm getting this whole experience of being transported somewhere else. Um, and this is still, this, I think this is still pretty easy to find. It's not as hard to find as some of the other things that I've mentioned. So the rest of my fragrances, I don't know where I'm going to wear them and I don't know what they would be the best for. So. Donna Karen, New York. This is a limited edition cool swirl. So this is when I was on my pistachio kick. I, I wanted anything and everything that had a pistachio note. And this is like pistachio, pistachio sorbet. It is really great. It really does smell like pistachio sorbet. It's sweet, it's cool. It's both juicy and creamy. Like it's not ice cream, but it's also not watery enough to smell like a melted water ice, you know? Like this is really cool. It doesn't last terribly long, but it is good. It smells like an edible gourmand and I don't know where I would wear this. Like like a like a fair, like a summer carnival maybe, or like if I was doing like brunch or like wine tasting with, with my girlfriends and I want to smell like youthful and fun and like fruity and vibrant, like, I don't know. Because this wouldn't last long on the beach. If I were to spray this and walk on the beach, the breeze would just blow it off me in like two seconds. So I haven't figured this one out yet, but I am excited. I am anticipating finding like a good occasion to wear this. There's another like limited edition that I want. I think it's like a yellow one, but impossible to find. Speaking of gourmands and sweet stuff, this was probably a mistake. I don't like this. The one time I tested it, 
I thought it was gross. However, I tested it on a cool day. It was not summertime. I got this just because it was like super cheap. I got it at a discount or maybe because it's a tester. I don't know, but this is like a pretty decent amount and I think I only paid like 20 bucks for it. However, this is not good. At least the first hour of this is not good. It's just like straight up sweet, like chalky sweet, like those confetti sprinkles. Like you shoved that up your nose or like the dots candy on paper or like, um, like Pez candy or like it give it reminds me of like chewing like children's chewable Tylenol like that that's the kind of like sweet chalky synthetic smell I get from this if you're trying to cover up some kind of smell if you're like sweaty and trying to cover up your sweaty armpit smell this might be this just might be strong enough and sweet enough to overpower that um I do want to give it another chance though in the heat I feel like maybe the heat could help this a lot. It's supposed to have some citrus notes. I don't smell that much citrus, but I feel like if I layered this with like a Pacifica blood orange fragrance, that might, that might help this. Cause it needs something, it needs something. This is just like straight, dry, astringent, bitter sugar. You know, it needs something citrusy. It needs something salty. It needs something, it needs something. So do you have this one? Do you have Aqualina, pink sugar, creamy sunshine? Do you have a scenario where this actually works? Sickeningly sweet. So maybe, yeah, like a carnival with like the cotton candy and the uh, caramelized nuts and stuff like that. Or like if I know I'm gonna be around a bunch of little kids, like I could probably wear this before I go teach, you know, like the, I, I teach a bunch of little kids. They would probably just smell sweetness and be like, I like sugar. That smells good. Miss Victoria smells good. <laughs> um, let me know because I don't know what to do with this. Speaking of things uh, that were a mistake, I got a cool water wave for women. Now let me explain this. The first time I tried this, I had a teeny weeny sample from micro perfumes and it smelled great it smelled fruity it smelled fresh aquatic uh like watermelon like juicy uh really really delicious like really great and i was like this is awesome i need to get myself a bottle so i got a bottle this the bottle like this smells bad this does not smell like the sample. I don't know if the sample I got was mislabeled, like if I got a different flanker of cool water something, or maybe the person I got this from like didn't store it right because this has like a really peppery, bitter, like celery top note. This smells like celery. Like I'm not getting any of that like juicy watermelon aquatic ozonic stuff that I got in my tiny sample. This is like, like bitter peppery and like pepper is listed as a top note, um, but they're just so different. And like, I've tried them side by side and something went wrong, something went wrong. So maybe this was a mistake or maybe the micro perfume sample was a mistake, but like, you know, I got this hoping for like juicy watermelon fruity and uh, kind of disappointed with this. Don't know where I would wear it. This is masculine on me because of that like peppery, salty, celery, bitter, whatever it is. So I don't know what to do with this. This Britney Spears Island Fantasy is more of what I wanted when I got this. This smells more like that micro perfume sample I got of Cool Water Wave. This has like the watermelon, this is fruity, this is juicy, this is watery, this is ozonic kind of, uh, just th like, this is good. This, this is good. Um, I know it's hard to find, but there were, there was somebody on eBay selling testers of this and I did get a sample from, from micro perfumes and compared them and they are the same. So like you can still find these even though you can't buy them like new with the box and everything, but like you can still find testers and this is delicious. I don't know where I would wear this. Maybe if I was like going to the creek, like I live across the road from a creek 
really cold, freezing cold mountain water. But because this is so like aquatic and juicy, like this feels like swimming. This feels like pool. This feels like lake. This feels like creek. It doesn't feel like ocean because there's there's really no salt in here. Um, but this does feel like an aquatic like water 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 time <laughs> um, a pool day uh, type of perfume um so i have to experiment with this one um and i gotta see i gotta see when it when it smells best but this is definitely like fresh clean watery fruity juicy like maybe right after the shower but like i don't know i always associate showers with the end of the day when like you want to relax this this is like i don't know just water i associate this with water <laughs> okay and Speaking of the watermelon, Nest Passiflora, this is one that I have had for more than a year. I do know what this smells like. I have worn it in the summertime. Some people don't like this, and I understand why, because at first whiff, it almost smells fermented. It does have like a slightly like sweet rotten vegetation smell, like rotten flowers a little bit, but I like it. I somehow really like it. Again, I don't know where to wear this. Like I wore this when we were having a, like our going away party before we moved from New York to Pennsylvania. Like I wore this at our going away barbecue and I did get some compliments on it. I don't know, it's just unique. It's green and fruity and there's nothing else quite like it. Um, but because it is so strange and so unique, I don't, I don't know where to wear it. I don't know. Like, I don't know the best scenario for it. Maybe a party, you know, maybe like a party, outdoor barbecue, uh, but, but like somewhere where people are drinking a lot of cocktails or there, there's like a lot of fruit, like raw fruit platters or like a drunk watermelon, like somebody, somebody put the vodka in the watermelon. Anywhere where there's like blended cocktails mojitos, watermelon daiquiris, stuff like that. This smells like a party fragrance, a boozy party <laughs> fragrance, I guess. Like, drink this with a vodka lemonade or like a frosé, you know, something like that. That's, that's what this reminds me of. Okay, last but not least, another Nest fragrance. This is Midnight Floor Soleil. Most people have seen or heard of Midnight Floor, which is delicious it was one of my all-time favorites it was like one of the perfumes that like got me into perfume like nest kind of started it all for me midnight floor is a woody vanilla dark mysterious the name kind of speaks for itself midnight floor soleil is like exactly the daytime version of that this is still kind of like woody and mysterious but it's like a forest in the daytime like an enchanted magical forest where like a fairy lives it smells like magic it smells like a magical forest with like sweet dew drops flowers and and moisture in the air and like i guess it's because there's like passion fruit in here to make it like kind of juicy this is like you just stumbled upon the last unicorn so i would definitely wear this if i were outside maybe even camping would camping be a demotion for this? Like, you know, you don't want to waste a good perfume on camping where everybody smells, like, smells bad. I feel like this is such a good nature fragrance. Like, this smells like magical trees. It smells like a magical, whimsical forest with fairies and the fountain of youth and forbidden fruit that's how i interpret this maybe a date also date night this could be a good like summer date night fragrance because it still smells sophisticated it smells like intimate and like i said a hundred times mysterious this smells like very mysterious and intriguing so yeah those are the perfumes that i am most excited for this summer these are like my top how many do i have here one, two, three, 13, my top 13 most anticipated summer <laughs> fragrances, I guess. I do have some samples of like Alien Goddess. I do have some samples of like Tom Ford Soleil Blanc and Eau de Soleil Blanc, which um, I have opposite opinions. I like Eau de Soleil Blanc much more than regular Soleil Blanc. Uh, I have little samples of like Creed, 
Virgin Island water. Um, you know, I have little, little samples of like more like fancier, uh, perfumes, but you know, I figured I'd show off my big bottle collection. These are the ones that I really want to reach for the most this summer. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think. Do you have any of these? Do you find that like some of these work really good for like the beach or for a date night or for some summertime activities, parties, like poolside, beach resort? Uh, let me know because I wanna know and I wanna experience all of the good smells and all of the good times this summer. Thank you so much, have a fantastic summer. I will smell you later.